Hi, my name is Jack Noonan. I'm uh, president of my own company, Binnacle Maritime, provides advisory and consulting and networking services. Uh, it's a part-time job. I'm pretty much retired. My former job was, I was 10 years as CEO at uh, Kembulk Tankers, a chemical tanker owner, operator. This is, a, this is a, a, an international conference. So very, it's a very good networking uh, conference. I, I, think, I think the biggest challenge, you first have to uh, look back at IMO 2020. The, the shipping industry was prepared for about, preparing for that for like five years, and it, was, it seemed to be a slow mover. And once it hit, it, the, the, the changes are accelerating. So I think the biggest, the biggest challenge is, you know, it takes a couple of years to build a ship. Um, will the ship be uh, able to meet the carbon, decarbon standards, you know, it, once you build and contract a ship and go out? I think that's the biggest challenge, that you don't want to build something and, and on delivery it's obsolete already. Well, just take a look at what's going on right now with the supply chain. Um, right now there's plenty of ships. They're all anchored off of uh, California, and the, uh, the bottleneck is trucks, right? So if there's not enough ships, that exacerbates an already uh, challenged supply chain. Well, I, I, think, I think it's very impressive how well shipping responded. You know, I came up, I was always on the commercial side, and for most of my career, until I got into executive management, we all sat in an open bullpen, a, a trading floor, so to speak, so we could interact with our colleagues, and we knew what our colleagues were doing. Working remotely, you don't have that. I mean, certainly you can do it via Zoom and Teams meeting and things like that, but it's just not the same as being embedded at a trading desk with, you know, a dozen or so of your colleagues. Uh, Shipping worked. It didn't, shipping did not miss a beat because of that. Now, it also, um, uh, it, it showed that there may be less need for travel, that meetings can be done virtually, uh, that people can work remotely. I think the downside of that is for young people entering the business that aren't sitting next to that senior person, that mentor. And that's something that the industry is going to have to figure out a way to do. Normal? I don't think, I don't think there will ever be a normal again. And the new normal, just like the ships that I was talking about, it's an ever-moving, ever-accelerating uh, target. It really is. Once again, the, the, the uh, acceleration of change. You know, an example I use is the recorded music industry. Vinyl was around for 70 years, and then cassette tapes were around for another 15, and then CDs, and you know, then you could, then you had the iPod, now you have live streaming, and, and every period was less and less. Same with shipping. It's not linear, it's exponential, the rate of change.